grab your popcorn because uh, you are watching So Kawaii. Ah. Hey guys, it's So Kawaii, and I'm backing up. <coughs> hmm. Hey guys, it's So Kawaii, and I'm backing up with another video. I am currently sitting on the ground, and my knees are killing me. If you notice, I cut my hair. What is life? So short, I know. I actually cut my hair like three weeks ago. I haven't actually been on YouTube for such a long time. Like, I haven't been as active as I would like to be. I am pretty sure I didn't film a video for like a whole month. And that is probably like the most I've never filmed a video for. So we're just gonna move ahead of that. As you can see by the title, it's not a very happy title topic. Um, We're gonna be doing squishies i hate squishies i don't recommend squishies i regret buying and i'm not doing this to throw shade towards like squishy companies and trying to tell you guys not to buy from them this is actually a collab with the Hollycopter. so basically if you guys are new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button give this video a like if you enjoy this video let's get started you i just dabbed okay i don't know if you guys remember it was probably two years ago when i did the pokemon squishy tag and in that video i mentioned about this app it's called amino amino is basically this app it's not even just for squishies i know a few people think the amino app it's just for squishies and like squishy community it actually has a lot more and i'm going to show you like what else they have you can join a dragon ball z community wolf animals roblox like whatever your hobby is it's most likely going to be on the Amino app and it's so great to have like a community of your favorite hobby and you can follow whatever you want. I just followed the Squishy Love community. I said community like 29 times. There's just a bunch of people posting their squishy pictures, even those polls asking you questions about their favorite squishies. Like there's so much you can do with Amino. People even make giveaways on Amino. There's even quizzes that you guys can make that are squishy related. And what I love most about Amino, they have this thing called the public chat room. And basically what you can do in there, you can talk to other people, join people in the group to have like a huge amount of people interacting with each other. And you guys can talk about squishies, whatever the hobby you're interested in. And if you do want to follow my account, it's just so kawaii. As you can see, you can post whatever pictures you like. Here are just a few of the photos that I took. Make sure you guys download this app, it's called Amino. It's available on iOS. And once you do download it, leave your username down below. And there is a chance of me following you guys if you do leave your usernames down below. I have been a member of Amino for like 580 days. If you're asking why am I so exact, it's cause like Amino tells you. <laughs> I'm not like counting the days. I can tell you that Amino is definitely a kid friendly app and it's totally free. It's just, it's just a really great app and you guys should totally check it out. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the actual video. You guys are definitely gonna be like, what? when I show you this squishy that I don't really recommend. And it's this Ayama Tokyo bread loaf. Mm, okay, reason why is because it was my very first squishy. I didn't know much about squishies. I thought this was gonna be like humongous because I think I bought this for $25 when it just came out. Like it wasn't insanely expensive for an eye bloom squishy, but I thought this squishy was gonna be ginormous. I had such high hopes. When it came in the mail, it came in this really, really tiny bubble mailer. And when I actually received it, it was very, very small compared to the size of my face. It's not that large. But what I can say about the squishy, the packaging is so realistic. It does look like a loaf of bread. Like I could easily fool someone and they would think it's like a bread loaf. It's not the squishiest thing ever. It's not that slow rising for an I am a Tokyo eye bloom squishy. But you guys, look at the defects. I don't know if it's because I squished this a lot or it just easily gets defects. But if you're paying like $20 to $25 for this squishy, I just wish it's better quality foam that won't get defects like crazy. And the thing is, this was like one of the first squishies that I bought. And I specifically remember it smelling like butter. I thought it smelled good, but it just gave me a headache. Mommy, can you talk quieter? I'm filming a video. And this is so sad because my bunny, Bella, she decided to chew like the corner of this squishy. And I was literally so sad. Also like right here. But yeah, 
Next squishy is this Hayaki fish. The packaging is actually very nice. It's very original. Like a lot of squishies, they don't have like a plastic thing as the packaging. But here's the actual squishy and let me just tell you, I rarely squish this. Like I probably only squished this like five times and I'm not sure if my camera is going to focus. But there are so many defects on this fish. I don't think my camera is catching all the defects, but I don't know. I just remember, whoa, it's a little too zoomed in. The squishy is pretty slow rising, I must say, but I just wish the quality of the foam is a little bit better that it won't get defects after like five squishes. But honestly, it's such a cute squishy. But if you're not willing to spend like $20 on a squishy that can easily get defects, then I just don't recommend it. But haha. -ha. Next squishy that I hate, like don't recommend, is this little twin stars macaron. I remember this being in my charms lol package which was my second squishy package i have ever got in my life but this is so so tiny like compared to the size of my palm it's super super tiny i'm pretty sure it was six dollars plus twelve dollars for shipping it's not slow rising at all it's just really hard i guess here's the licensing at the back it does come with this iPhone keychain so you can like put it on your phone. Once again, it's really easy for this to get defects. Ew! The next squishy I don't really recommend. These cutie creative marshmallows. And you may notice that one of them is missing. It's like the turquoise color of the marshmallows. I don't recommend this just because one, the packaging, it's not very sticky. So you can't like reseal it. Secondly, these marshmallows, it's covered in this very weird flower thing. It leaves this powder. It won't focus, but it leaves a white powder on your hands. They don't really smell like anything. I do remember this being, I think, $18. I just don't recommend it because there's like powder and it gets all over your desk. It gets all over your hands. Flower all over the air. We're going to do a little zoom in. Whoa, it actually zooms in so well. But as you can see, it is pretty slow rising. Oh, this one's even more slow rising. Another one I kind of don't really recommend, Zero Ton Seal. I remember spending, I think, $13 on this. Don't get me wrong, it is one of the cutest squishies I own. It is super, super cute. It's just not very slow rising, and I just don't think it's really worth the price, I guess. I mean, actually, there is a small pop-up. I think I have two more squishies to show you. And the next one is this fake replica tofu. I just don't recommend it because I'm pretty sure you can buy like the OG real ones and it's just a couple dollars more than this replica one. It is pretty slow rising though. It's actually really slow rising. What the heck? Whoa, it's actually so squishy. Although it's really slow rising, it's not that soft. But you could definitely buy like the OG ones just for a couple dollars more. But this is actually pretty cute. But that's what I think about this one. The last one that I don't really recommend, it's another Zero Ten donut. Here it is. Honestly, I think this is so cute. But I do remember this was probably my very first rare squishy that I bought. Like it was $10. And I mean, I guess since it is like a rare squishy, I can see why some people will disagree me on this. But it is just super, super tiny. It's literally a hard rock. It's not really, it's not a squishy. This can also get defects pretty easily. There's defects like all around the cooler top part. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus. I don't know. I just don't know if I recommend it or ah. Uh, I am so hungry. I don't know. Every time I film a video, I'm literally starving and I eat in the middle of my video. It's just, it's just like a natural thing. I do this in all my videos now. But that's basically it for this video. Make sure you do check out the Holicopter. She's amazing. And also don't forget to check out the Amino app. I'll leave all the links down below. This orange is so sour, but I'm just so hungry. But yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.